Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Cooper, and thank you to uh, Chairman uh, David Perry and to <laughs> Vice Chairman for this, this opportunity because they could have choose anyone else. So I'm, I'm humbly to say thank you, Pastor, and to everyone. What an honor it is to be on the platform with these great men, these great leaders in the community. Thank you so much. And I just before I just move forward, I want to just send a quick shout out to my lovely wife, Lady T. Amen. I, I love her. And even when we got married, I wasn't a total man, but I'm still becoming a total man. You'll get that later because I'm a part of Kingdom XL Ministries. Oftentimes we say, maybe to the homosexual or the sinner, sinner whatever, you, don't, you can come, but you don't have to stay the way you came. I came to this ministry, but I'm not staying. I didn't stay the same. It didn't just stop at sin or whatever, but my mind, my body, my finances, they did not stay the same because of Kingdom XL Ministries. I want to, when it says speaker, and I said, Lord, when I'm prayer, preparing, I said, Lord, I don't want to be preaching. The pastor want me to, you know, speak or whatever. I want to try to be professional as possible per se, but I want to deal with the spirit. And I said the best, you know, I was in prayer and I said, you know, what's the opportunity to talk about the spirit to give an example and Daniel chapter 4 you can go there I'm just going to read two verses and then I'm going and, and get out your way Daniel chapter 4 and verse 7 says this then the magicians the astrologers don't do that James because <laughs> you're going to make me preach <laughs> then, <laughs> the magicians thank you James <laughs> James, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers came in, and I told them the dream. This is King Nebuchadnezzar. He, King Nebuchadnezzar, I'm just telling the story. King Nebuchadnezzar had uh, uh, taken the uh, tribe of Judah, the children of Judah, and bondage, and he brought them into his camp. And he wasn't necessarily used to the spiritual side. He was used to more so cultural side. And so King Nebuchadnezzar, he came where he says, I told the Chaldeans and the magicians and the astrologers, I told them the dream, but they did not make known to me its interpretation. Because they knew dreams uh, was very important, and he knew it needed to be interpreted. And he says, but at last, Daniel came before me. His name is Belshazzar. According to the name of my God. But he says something very powerful. He says, in him is the spirit of the holy God. And I told the dream before him saying, Belshazzar, chief of the magicians. Because I know that the spirit of the holy God is in you and no secret troubles you. Explain to me the visions of my dream that I have seen and is interpretation. And so I said, what is a great example for me to use on Total Man Sunday from the Bible and from the Spirit? And I think one of the greatest examples is Daniel. If you understand the story and the understand who Daniel was, they was brought from Judah into bondage. And this is the thing, though. In Daniel chapter 4, the king had the dream, and then he, didn't, he brought everybody else in, and nobody could interpret it. But he saw a different spirit in Daniel. If I was to preach, <laughs> if... <laughs> I will focus on this, this, this statement. My spirit makes the difference. My spirit makes the difference. Daniel, here, here is a frustrating time for this leader, this king. And he looked at his staff and none of the staff 
could interpret the dream. In other words, none of the staff could solve the problem. Mike Murdoch said, those who solve problems get prosperity. You see a problem, you answer it, you get prosperity. So Daniel, if you look in first cha Daniel chapter 1, Daniel and his three other Hebrew boys, his brothers, his, his, his friends, the Bible says that the king says, I need some men who, who will, who, even though they are slaves, but I need some men to work with me and to become a part of the palace. And what they did was, this is in Daniel chapter 1, I'm only references. And, and, and so the, the, his, the, the uh, chief of staff or one of his assistants went and got Daniel and his men. And he said, the king wants to train you. He wants to pretty much uh, uh, cultivate you to work with the, the palace. And so Daniel, he says, okay, cool, no problem. So they said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to give you some food, some delicacies from the king's table. We're going to give you some neck bones. So we're going to give you some chitterlings. We're going to give you ham hocks and meatballs. And Daniel had went to Total Man Sunday, and he said, they taught me to eat vegetables and fresh fruits. So since my spirit makes the difference, I don't want to eat Burger King. I don't want to eat a, a, a Chick-fil-A. I don't want to go down into Burger Fight, even though those are great delicacies. But, but my spirit is about to make a difference. So he says, I, 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 not only this, this is what I like about it, uh, doctor. He says that the, that the chief of staff said, we need men that are capable, mentally strong, that can handle the king's palace. We need men that know how to handle and manage money. And, and, and so they, they, they grabbed Daniel and they said, Daniel, why don't you eat? He says, because my spirit makes the difference. And so he says this, and that's what I'm talking to the men. Our spirit makes the difference. If we show up, when we show up, and I'm getting ahead of myself, but, but, but when we show up, there's something about our spirit. There's something about when a man that is whole shows up, there's a different response. So Daniel, he says, I know that the king wants me to eat the fat back the dressing and the grits. I know he wants me to eat that, but I want to show him a difference. And so the chief of staff says, uh, we're going to take a chance. I'm going to give you 10 days to make a difference. And he says, if, if you look better in 10 days, we'll go with you. They come back in 10 days, and when they come back, Daniel looked like he'd been to the boot camp. Daniel look like he's been to the therapist. Daniel look like he done sat down with Mark Thompson. Da Daniel look like he done made it past the law enforcement. That he didn't get killed. He, even though he had problems, uh, he, he, he lived to tell the story. Daniel had looked like he went to Total Man Sunday. So he said, there's something about Daniel that makes a difference. And we're going to go with Daniel, so I want to submit to you something very important, men, is that when we come in and make the difference, we get the people on our side. This is the season where the believer need everybody on our side. We need people that will go into the bank and we know how to dress. We know how to conversate. We know how to mentally. Why do they look at our bank statements when it's time to own a home? Why do they look at that? I want to see your behavior. Yeah, I want, to, I want verification, but I want to see how much you go to Crabtree. I want to see how much uh, uh, you spending on this and how, how many times you go to McDonald's. I want to see because money is more behavior than anything. Because if you don't have your mind right, now you're making impulsive decisions. Now you're shopping on Amazon all the time. Now you're dealing with depression. Now you're going to go to retail therapy, which is really not therapy. Especially if you can't pay for it. My, come on, man, I want you to just repeat this and say, my spirit makes the difference. 
My spirit makes the difference in the way that we live. Daniel was, he was known for the way he lived. Because in Daniel chapter 6, I'm only referencing it. They, they, know, they noticed something. He prayed every day, three times a day. That was the way he lived. How many of, in our community can tell the way we live and how it makes the difference? It did something to me when several of our neighbors asked me and Tisha to pray for them. They never been to the church, but they've been to the church. They hit us up on Messenger and said, there's something about your spirit. And I understand that my spirit makes the difference. The Bible said, out of the mouth, the issues of the heart flow. So listen, you can always tell when people are bitter. You can always tell when people are toxic. You can always tell when the, the word of the century, narcissistic. Because it seems like everybody is narcissistic. We, you know, us as people, we learn one word. It's not, not narcissistic. Everything is narcissistic. You don't want no ice cream, you narcissistic. No, 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 no. We, do, we get one word and that becomes the diagnosis of the century. And I'm saying, as brothers and as, even as ladies, we make the difference in the community and the way we live. And then we make the difference in the way we lead. In Numbers chapter 13 and 30, Pastor, there was frustrating time. And the children of Israel saw the giants, and they said they're going to eat us. But it was Joshua and Caleb that led in that moment, and they said, we shall eat them. We need men, especially in this time of frustration. This is not the time to uh, go on Facebook, man, and say, kill the police officer and F the police. This is not the time to say that, but this is the time to say, man, we will still rise. This is the time that every, every man we know should have been at Total Man Sunday because they needed to hear what was being said. We come together in a time of frustration and we still have positive words. That's why we can't miss Sundays. All of the frustrations of the week, Sunday is my day to increase my faith. Sunday is the day that I want to hear Joshua and Caleb quiet this people, quiet the negativity, and say, even everybody been seeing on social media, everybody's been seeing on this and that, and they're saying, they're going to eat us. The white police officer is going to kill us. The, the Ku Klux Klan is going to kill us. This is going to happen. Oh, but I need a prophet in my life. I need a pastor in my life that say that we shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Say, my spirit makes the difference. It makes the difference in how we love. In 1 Samuel 18, I'm only referencing. Jonathan's soul was knit to the soul of David. You can come to this church, brothers, even I guess. You can come to this church and see brothers loving on each other. And we're not funny. We're not, we don't have no identity crisis. But you, we make the difference in how we love. You will see us dapping up each other. You will see us hugging on each other. Why? Because we make the difference. Last thing is this. Brothers, we make the difference in our legacy and how we lead. How we, how we leave this earth. In Genesis 49, I'm only referencing. Jacob pulls his, his sons together. And he says, I know pretty much I haven't been perfect. I had to trauma. And I had to overcome trauma. And I had to become a, a, a wholeness. And I had to do some different things. But he pulls them together to tell them what shall befall them. So it wouldn't be no chaoticness. Because one thing we know, when it's time for death, I'm telling you, people come out and act a plum fool. If you ever want to see unholiness and, and, and chaoticness, die without a will. Here's the thing. We focus on the will, but have we mentally prepared our children for, to, for the next generation? I told my son, and I got to get out of here. I told my son, I said, Cedric, the reason why I'm hard on you, and I told Isaiah, I said, they, they challenged me sometimes. They said, the reason, they said, Dad, why do you do this? I said, I'm not fathering you. Thank you, Kendall. I said, I'm not fathering you. I'm fathering my grandson. 
I'm fathering my granddaughter. I'm fathering the next generation because my spirit makes the difference. So, brothers, I want us to challenge. And I'm in a mobile crisis, doctor, and I I often have to go to people's houses. And when I go to the house, there's one lady, she was crying, tearful. Didn't know what to do. And I began to talk to her. They called me. They said, Sergeant, now you can't be counseling these folks on these crisis calls. You give them an the assessment to keep moving. But my spirit makes the difference when I show up. I can't just leave them like that. Jesus didn't leave me where he found me. So I can't leave them where I found them. If it gets me fired, I'll take one for the team. You know what I'm saying? Because I was once blind, but now I see. It was at the cross. The love for me. But it, this is what I'm saying. She, she began to cry. She said, she, she, by the time we got done, she said, you've been my Dr. Phil. That's the best way she can put it. Put it. But my dispatcher, she said, Cedric, I don't know you're so good with the kids. And, and, and you got that kid. To, he didn't want to go to his doctor's appointment. And the mother wants you to come back to see if you can get him to another doctor's appointment. I had to tell her. Uh, I, she said, I told her, we're, we're not sending Cedric to come parent your kid. He's a mobile crisis assessor. And she said, but she said, but by the way, she said, what, the, what is you dealing with? What you got going on? She said, what are you using to, to you, we send you to the worst of the worst. And it seemed how people, they don't even talk to us. But by the time you get done with them, they talking to you. They laughing. And I have to let her know. I got to go to my seat, brothers. But I, got, I have to let her know something. I said, it's the spirit inside of me. Because when King Nebuchadnezzar couldn't find nobody, uh, he looked and saw something in da- Daniel. And I want brothers to know today, can, can people find something inside of you? When you go to the grocery store, can they find something inside of you? When, 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 when you go to the family reunion, can they find something inside of you? Can they find your spirit? Can they find better inside of you? I can't, I can't preach this like I want to. But brothers, listen, I, this, is, this is the thing. We can pack this church out if we could just take one brother to go into the community and find 10 brothers and they say, brother, there's something about you, Tyrone. There's something about you. And I want what you got. King Nebuchadnezzar said, I want what you got. I want what that, that spirit And I want us as Kingdom Excel Ministries, even to the ladies, you have to go. We have to all say, my spirit makes the difference. Pastor can't go nowhere and make a difference. I'm going to take my seat, but last Saturday we went to Carolina Al. He laughing about it. We get in there, the lady says, oh, it's going to be like 30, 45 minute wait. Pastor said, okay. And so I know Pastor in his jesting. When he do this, yeah. oh, it's, it's something about. And by the t- we, we ate, paid for the meal in 35 minutes. Pastor just walked around. He seen stuff, looked around. Now, we, it's packed up in Carolina, Island, Garner. Somehow, Pastor got us a table in five minutes. Somehow he got found a waitress to, to, to handle us in seven minutes. Got the food out. And I said, this ninja makes the difference. <laughs> the favor of God and the same favor that's on his life can be on your life. I wish it was a Sunday morning like I wanted to be. Because the same oil that's on his life, if God can do it for him, He can do it for you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, my spirit makes the difference. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Give him praise. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's about to break happen. In 2023, they told me I wouldn't own a home. But when I go to the bank, my spirit is going to make the difference. They said I'll be here at the job for the next 30 years. But my spirit is getting ready to make the difference. They said I was going to be on psychotic medications. But my spirit is getting ready 
to take me off. They said I wouldn't lose weight, but my spirit, I got to take my seat. But everybody that want to lose some weight said my spirit is about to change the scale. My family said I'll be poor forever, but my spirit makes the difference. Say it one more time. Say my spirit makes the difference. 